Found this old schoolhouse on my way to Bluffton, Indiana. Well, I believe it's old schoolhouse. They usually are. Eighteen ninety two. District number seven, maybe. Liberty Township. Has a no trespassing sign, so Hey YouTube, this is Zach with Savage Traveling coming to you from Bluffton, Indiana today. We're on another historical downtown tour and uh, Bluffton has quite a bit here, so this is gonna be a good one, guys. I hope you stick tuned. And, uh, like I said, just a little sample here all around us are just, you know, turn of the century buildings from, you know, about 1880 to about the Great Depression area. And uh, a lot of interesting art and uh, different architecture to check out. So I hope you guys come along with us, enjoy. Here we have the cat block. It says 1897 and Here we have the JL Humphrey block. I believe it says 1892 there. Here we have the stag bar. Uh, lunch specials on the board out front. I can't remember what they were. It smelled really good though. Steak tips, I think. couple of boutique businesses on the ground floor. Uh, second from the left says Wecking. Up in the stained glass, I believe. This old block off Main Street has been preserved quite well. This old building says Parlor City Antiques down in the shop below. Yeah, there's a lot going on on the back end of this building. Didn't waste any space here. The Ellen Burger building. Here we have Bluffton Station on the corner. I believe it's called the Parlor City Plaza. At least that's what it says above the mural on the left. This is the Lynn Sauer building, 1928. I'm gonna assume this big old building in front of my van used to be a bank with its Roman slash Greek inspired architecture. 
I'm not 100% sure though. It does have a drop box and bars over the ground floor windows. Team Knockout Jiu Jitsu on the left. Stefan Group in the middle and then Dwayne's Vac and Sew. All make sales, service parts, Vac and Sew. 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. There's a state park just right outside of town that they have a herd of bison slash buffalo. Uh, I'll leave my video link below uh, if you want to check the video I did out there. Big and impressive block there. Uh, it's quite the mural on the side. We're gonna go in for a closer look. This is 1837 to 2020 up there in the middle of the book. This old building here has a dance studio and like a boutique clothing shop down below. Uh, it says John Studebaker, 1880, I believe, 1890, can't tell from here. So you got the kitchen and bath shop and the Moose 242 look to be both in operation. I believe the building on the right says 1897 at the top, but I could be mistaken. Sometimes it's fun to get back and explore the alleyways as well. Okay, YouTube, this has been Bluffton, Indiana checking out their historical downtown today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I uh, hope you guys learned something. Um, if you guys like this, please like the video and maybe subscribe to the channel for many more videos like this and uh, who knows what else to come. So uh, once again, thank you and uh, peace.